In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can go through and fix your Apple ProRes log footage so that it actually looks good in your videos. Now with the iPhone 15 Pro, you get log shooting and log basically is a flat profile. It preserves your highlights, it preserves your shadows, which gives you more dynamic range in your footage and it allows you to do some color grading to be able to make this footage look professional. The big issue with previous iPhones is that you never had this ability to have a log setting. You only had the HDR look that comes out of the camera, which can look good, but it doesn't give you full control of your footage. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways that you can work with this footage. The first is just with your iPhone, and we're just gonna use the Photos app. I'm not gonna ask you to download any third-party apps. I'm gonna show you what you can do in your phone right now to make it easy to be able to color grade this footage, and then also come up with different color grades that you can copy and paste to the rest of your footage when you're out shooting. And in the second part of this video, I'm gonna show you how I color grade in Final Cut Pro and some of the tools that I use, and also I'll show you how I do this even faster using some LUTs. All right, so let's open the Photos app and let me show you how I'd color grade some of this footage. So in here, you can see I've shot a bunch of ProRes log footage. So let's pull up this shot of the trail and you can see how flat this footage looks. It's a blue sky, there's green bushes, but you don't really see any of that. So I'm gonna click edit. I'm gonna go to my adjustment tab and I'm first gonna start with my contrast because we need to add more contrast back into this shot. I'm just gonna bring it up to 100. Now next, I'm gonna pull down my shadows. The darkest parts of the footage should be closer to black. And then I'm gonna pull up my highlights because if you look, those clouds in the distance are a little bit too dark. And so I just wanna pull those up. I don't wanna make them overexposed, but I definitely wanna make them a little bit brighter. So now I'm gonna add some saturation. Let's add about 30 on the saturation, and then let's bring up our vibrance. Now this is looking good, but it still looks a little washed out to me. And so I'm gonna go over to my exposure and just bring down my overall exposure a tad. So let's go to negative 10 and then let's go to our black point and add about 10 to that. And the black point basically just resets where black is in your footage. So as I add more to this, you'll see that the darker parts of the image are getting even darker. So now I'm gonna hit done. And now this is the graded shot. And the cool thing is once you've done your grade, once you're happy with how it's looking, you can copy these effects and paste it to everything that you shot. So I'm gonna click the three dots in the upper right hand corner. I'm gonna click copy edits. Now I'll grab this other shot of these rolling hills. I'll hit the three dots in the upper right hand corner, hit paste edits, and you'll see that the same edit is applied to this footage. Now it's looking pretty good. You could also go through and select multiple shots and hit the three dots in the lower right hand corner and hit paste edits and it applies to all of them. And so now all of your log footage is color graded. So one of the things that you can do is come up with some different color grades in your phone and just save these clips to an album. And then you could always copy those effects and paste them later. I'm sure Apple will introduce a way to add LUTs when you're in your Photos app. So you could just do it natively because right now there's not really a way to add a preset LUT. However, probably will show up eventually. Now, if you're someone who's not gonna be just editing on your phone or you just don't want quick edits, well, you'll wanna bring this footage into your editing software. And because it's Apple ProRes, you have tons of grading capabilities with this footage. So I brought these same shots into my Final Cut Pro editing software. So what I'm gonna do is bring up my Luma waveform so I can see my exposure values. And this gives me a graph of all of my exposure from 100 being white and zero being black. And you can see with this log footage, now in a visual representation of how flat this image actually is. So I'm gonna pull up one of Final Cut's easy tools, which is color adjustments. And I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in the photo app. So I'll add contrast and you can see how instantly there's contrast back in this footage. However, I'm stretching up to 100, but where the darkest parts of the image are sitting is around 25. So I'm gonna bring my black point down until it's closer to zero. And instantly you can see this footage is looking much better. And from here, I'll add a little bit of saturation. Maybe I'll bring my shadows down a tad more. And this color grade is looking pretty solid for the shot. And so really when you're playing with Apple ProRes, the key things to getting a good looking shot is play with your contrast, your saturation, your vibrance, your black point, and also your highlights and your shadows. And what you're doing is adding contrast and adding saturation until you have a better look with your footage. Now to make this even faster, you can apply a LUT. And a LUT is just basically a preset that's built in a .cube file, but you can apply it to your footage in your editing software 
and you instantly have a color grade. And so you can see I have this adjustment layer above my footage and I've built a conversion LUT that basically takes this log footage, you turn this on and it instantly has a color grade. And let's just make the whole process super easy and also allows you to have a consistent look across all of your footage. And so there's what's called a conversion LUT, which basically takes your log footage and gives you this more standard normal look. And then there's creative LUTs, which give you a unique look on top of the conversion LUT. And so I've built a set of Apple ProRes LUTs that you can download right now. And I've included it in my pack of adventure LUTs so that you can use them with all of my different creative looks that I've built from the different projects that I've worked on. Every time I build a new LUT for a project, I include it in this pack. So if you are someone who has already downloaded my LUTs, make sure you head back over to the download page because I've just added these Apple ProRes LUTs. And there's also a few others from some projects I've worked on recently. And and next, you should check out this video right here, which goes through some different ways that you can use your phone to get some creative shots. I'll see you on the next one.